Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Shar. Let me come to you today. I have a few nice little gifts here that I'm very excited to show. And um, some items that I have been trying to get my hands on and finally was able to get my hands on them. Pioneer Woman items are getting a little bit more difficult in my neck of the woods to um, find. So you gotta be on the search and when you see it online and it says out of stock, make sure you put in that get in stock alert hit that button and put your email address in because I tell you that's how I have been finding all of my items by putting my email address in. So let's get started. The first thing mom and I were in um, Walmart the other day and we were pleasantly surprised. I had never seen this before. I know she's coming out with a beautiful farm animal theme and I think it is most adorable. These little mugs I'm trying to get my hands on um, but they are just too cute. So we were in Walmart the other day, yesterday morning, and we saw these, you guys. Look at this. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life? And it is a trivet, okay? So you can see the size of it. Pretty nice size. And it's just so cute. Look at the little piggy face. I love the trim around it. Isn't that just so beautiful? With the gingham and the little polka dot nose, and the eyes are just so done well. And I love the little ears, it's just the cutest thing. And that is the piggy trivet, so cute. And then we saw, first I saw the horse, and I said, That looks like Pioneer Woman. I'm gonna pick it up. I saw her by herself, somebody had put her down somewhere. But then as I was going around, wasn't even looking for the other ones. I saw the display for the other ones. But this is the little horse. Look at the different fabrics in there. The prints. Isn't that beautiful? So gorgeous. And then this one is the same. All of them are the exact same size, minus the ears, okay? This one has that lovely red and white trim. Polka dot, beautiful little flowers. Just so pretty. I absolutely love it. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. These are some fun little trivets. And then this one is the cute cow trivet. Okay. Isn't she cute? Look at her. Just so adorable. Uh, and they're so well made. I'm not surprised, but they're just so cute. Very thick, as you can see. And this is what, I'll show you what each one looks like on the back, okay? So we'll start with the cow. So we see what the back looks like, and then we see what the front looks like, okay? And that is the same size, and it's just square shape, okay? And that is the cow, I'll go over the other ones. And last, but not least, the cute chicken. Isn't she adorable? And I love that she did that yellow that yellow background in the red so pretty and i just love the trim on this one as well look how beautiful that is and the back of this one is just plain so pretty okay so that is the front of the cow and the back of the cow okay and that looks like that up close okay let me not move so fast and then this one is the front of the horse and the back of the horse, which is polka dotted. Really pretty. And then last but not least, and I think it is my favorite, is a cute piggy. Front of the piggy, and then the back of the piggy. Look at her little ears. I'm just too done. This is just so festive and cute, especially if you have grandkids. Put little cute fun teapots on there, just too cute. All right, so I got that, and I found that in the store. This one I found online finally. I saw that it was available. I have the rose, um, the sweet rose entire set near about. It was just one of the, sweet rose was one of the favorites out of all the sets. This one's creeping, y'all see that one? It is creeping in my favorite list. Okay, so let's look at the inside of this beautiful baker. It is huge. I will have the links to all of this stuff down below. Remember I told you to hit that show more and it will extend for you and you will see every single links that I have, the things that I can find on this table down below and you guys hit that link. All right, look at this beautiful Sweet Rose print. That is why we love the Sweet Rose so much. And I tell you years from now, this stoneware is going to really still be beautiful. It's gonna have that beautiful vintage look 
that just looks like it just was classic and just lasts, just has been here forever. And that's what I love about the vintage look and I love the shape of it where it's not perfectly shaped. And I love the handles on this one. And it fits just enough for your fingers to fit in or when you have like a mitten that's kind of thin, not too thick, you can at least hold it this way or you can stick your fingers in there, okay? It is heavy because it is stoneware, which I do appreciate. And it is, you can bake in this if you want or if you just wanna serve in this. Look how beautiful that print is. This is why we love the sweet rose, am I right ladies? This rose, this print right here, these colors, these flowers, it's just beautiful. And then as we come around to the side, you can see that beautiful blue handle and that blue is such a beautiful blue. I love this choice of blue that she chose. And the back is the same as the front, but we just wanna see the signature stamp that she has down here below, which is absolutely beautiful. So this is a lovely piece. And what I love about this piece is it does come with the top, as you can see the Pioneer Woman stamp and it has those nice strong clamps. So if you're transporting this, it is going to stay on. Ah, as you can see, I'm pushing down. That bad boy is not moving. I'm hitting this in every angle. It is not coming down. So you can transport to this, whether you have a cake in here, whether you have lasagna, whatever you're taking to the family reunion, it's not gonna move, okay? So this is just absolutely beautiful. And I wanted you all to see this piece i was so happy to get my hands on it all right so we have that next thing we have i found the birthday cake y'all somebody was going around i'm telling you buying up the birthday cake finally was able to find it so we will be doing the mint and the birthday cake flavors coming soon okay we're still eating on the other ones but coming soon all right so stay tuned for that and that is the birthday cake flavors this is really going to hit off big with little ones because they love the flavor of birthdays uh, cake and they also love sprinkles so I know that's gonna really hit with the little ones okay now this is her melamine I only found these two pieces and I'm fine because I didn't want to get so many of I already got her other melamine stuff and I just wanted these sweet blossom romance I think that's what it called I'll put the link I mean I'll put the name below Oh my goodness, when I saw this, you guys, I said, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I thought I was done. Now, I'm really contemplating about the dish set because I do have the teapot. I have this. I'm trying to get my hands on the mugs. It's just so beautiful and festive. And if you're one that loves to entertain and you love to, you know, set dish, I mean, you know, love to entertain and have beautiful, colorful dishes, then by all means, you can collect them. All right, so this one, is the beautiful creamer and sugar. So this is the sugar. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Look at that beautiful jewel top with that. It's just so gorgeous in that blue. I'm just loving that blue. And this is the sugar, okay? And I'm just gonna turn it all the way around. It looks like little tulips around the top, little beautiful flower. And just look at those florals, that purple one. Oh, that blue and purple, oh, so pretty. And then that is the creamer again. Love the handle, easy to just pour. It's nice stoneware, it's not ceramic. You really gotta beat this for this to crack. And I tell you, it is gorgeous. And what makes it so special is the gingham at the bottom. I don't know if she should have put a little bit of gingham down there, but it's still pretty. But the gingham at the bottom is just what makes this that's what makes this set so beautiful. Look at that handle, that ear shape like handle. And it's just so gorgeous. And this is the front. And then this is the back. All right. And so that is that. So we're going to set him to a side and we're going to bring this beautiful little fat butter dish up here, honey. This little butter dish is so fat and cute. Isn't it, Mom? It's so fat and cute. I'm just loving this butter dish love the top with the gingham the gray gingham she chose gray that really does make this absolutely gorgeous with those colorful flowers around look at that beautiful handle as well i'm going to turn this beautiful butter dish upside down so you can see it is well made 
beautiful. This can last forever and ever. And this beautiful base of the butter dish with the gingham and the beautiful little flowers on the handle. Is that not just a well-made butter dish? So cute. You can even use this alone. And you can put crackers and little um, um, uh, meats, whatever. If you want to make a tiny little charcuterie cut up fruit, if you decide, you can use that even as, a, it can even double as a serving dish. Okay? But look how it's that wide. Okay? So I will put all that information down below, y'all. Look at this. So we're going to go all the way around. One, two. Oh, so Look at that. Oh, just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous print. So we're gonna place that to a side so you can see all three. That's the creamer, the sugar, and the butter dish. And that is just absolutely beautiful. All right, so we're gonna set these things to a side here. We're gonna look at these beautiful baskets. So I'm so excited. I'm just gonna grab one. This is the most beautiful basket that you can use to organize your yarn, your children, your little girl's bows if you want. You can put tissue and put it in the bathroom, layered it beautiful, you know, with rows of tissue. You could do whatever you want, but I say why not use it as a cute, you can even put dried flowers in it and just put it somewhere in your home and just have beautiful flowers. You can put magazines in it, whatever you decide to do. But I say, why not use it as an actual picnic basket? Take it to a beautiful picnic. You can put beautiful sandwiches wrapped up in here. You can put muffins in here. You can take this with you to the farmer's market and you can put your breads in here. You can put muffins in here, whatever you're getting that can fit. And these were just $13.98. And this is the basket with liner. That is the size of the basket. Right there, if you wanna know. And some of you are so talented, you would even buy more prints and stick them in here and tie them. I wish I could do that. But it's so beautiful. I love the little bows that she has on each side. And the print is that charm print. Oh, and it's so beautiful. That is such a beautiful print and classic charm print. And I mean, I'm telling you, you can literally take this. It's very light, it's not heavy. And I will put light things in here because you don't wanna disturb that from it being in its place. But it's just a fun little basket to use for fun things. But I say, why not use it for a picnic? I'm all about picnics, honey, listen. You can even fill these up, I, I just have some here. Just fill these up with little Madeline baked bake, bake goods. Just throw them down in there. You can put some punch. You can put a sand, couple of sandwiches nicely stacked. You can put fruit in its little containers in here. And you can just go off to the park. And there you go. There you have it. So it's so many things you can do with this beautiful basket. I think it's absolutely adorable. I think it is very fun. And it is something you have to be very careful. You, If you wanna keep it for a long time, it's not something where you put heavy things in it, okay? So it's just a fun little picnic basket, I think. Or just to hold your yarn or whatever you decide, like I said, in your home. So we have two of those there. I loved it so much I had to get two of them. Because even if you stack your closet up with some of these and just fill them with different things you like, I think it's just so pretty and synchronized just to have that stack. And the color, that beautiful wicker, that color of that wicker is really, really pretty. And you can do so many um, different things and look really pretty with different prints, even if you change that out. I just love the dark color of the basket. All right, and so, oh, coming up with this guy right here. So I saw this online, and I said, you gotta be kidding me, I didn't even know she had this. That's the joy of looking at online. I'm always looking to see what new things this Pioneer Woman have. So this is her new laundry basket is what she calls it, okay? It's got that beautiful handle that goes across. I wanna show you how big this thing is. I have, um, how many rolls is in here? I think it's six double rolls. Yes, we took one out this morning. But six double roll pack of bounty in here, plus two extra little um, skinny rolls. 
so that y'all can see these skinny little rolls that we use when we go down to the laundry room. And look how it carried that with no problem. It is full. This is an extremely big bag and it is a laundry bag. However, ladies, for this summer, this is a perfect beach bag. What I love about it is so it's wipeable on the outside. Nothing when it's spilled, it is easily to wipe, easily to clean. And it's got that beautiful sweet rose blossom, romance blossom print, just like the butter dish there. This is that print. Is that not the prettiest thing ever? I absolutely love it. And this is what it looks like. It's got that faux leather strap so that you can really put everything you need in here. And you can carry it on that shoulder and carry everything on that beach. Look at all this room down here. It still has room. I filled it up so that you all can see how big this bag is. So mommy's gonna lift that up out. And there we go. This is how deep, look how deep this is in the inside. Y'all see that? Look how deep. Look at all that, but you can put picnic blankets in here. Beach towels, beach blanket and beach towels, honey. You can put some flip flops over there, or sunglasses or whatever you want. Look at this side over here as well. There's a big pocket on this side. Look how deep that pocket is. Look how deep that pocket is. Look at the deepness of this. Y'all, mom and I have to hold this open so y'all can see this. This is so deep. Look at, look at this. Okay, and then what I do love about it, it comes with a strap so when you fold it up, this holds it together and you can stash it away for summer trips or also college student that if they need to wash a blanket or anything, this is perfect where they can put a comforter or a blanket or whatever they're washing, their clothes or whatever, this is perfect for that too, or they can use it for a beach um, bag. So this is the oil cloth. That is oil cloth on the outside, okay? You can use it as a grocery bag. You are getting a lot of groceries, honey. <laughs> so this is the Sweet Romance Oil Cloth Laundry Tote. But like I said, y'all, laundry or beach tote. This is the size of the laundry tote right there that's all your size information okay and this is information there if you need to see that I don't know what it says honey she can't look that <laughs> that close but I'm just trying to give it to you the information and then that's the sweet oil laundry tote and I just I love it I absolutely love it we're gonna be doing a lot of beach trips this summer and I just thought that that was just absolutely beautiful all right so that is the laundry tote, I say slash beach bag. All right, there we go. And I love that it has that two handle right there that you, if you decide not to use. And then this is the strap. I'm pulling the camera back some so that you can see just how large the bag is. All right, and that is the beautiful print at the bottom with the faux leather straps. And I think the straps are good enough for nice folded towels and blankets. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put heavy groceries in there or laundry detergent. Strictly for clothes or blankets mm -hmm. or towels. All right, you all, so that is that. I absolutely love it. And I will put the link down below for that as well. Okay, and last but not least, this item is not a Pioneer Woman item. I got this throw pillow, you guys. I'm gonna take it out so you can see. Only 10 bucks. I said, you gotta be kidding me. It is the cutest throw pillow. It is Miss Botanical. And this is the size of the pillow there. So let me take the pillow out. It is so cute. When I saw it online, I said, these are the cutest spring and summer pillows. And this one was only for $10. All right, so this is the beautiful, isn't that pillow beautiful? I just love it, you guys. I'm, it's so pretty, you can sit up by itself. There we go. And so this is the beautiful botanical pillow. I love it because the wildflowers, oh. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm just gonna go through here so that you can see the beautiful, some of you know all the names of these flowers, I don't. <laughs> but they're so beautiful and I love that beautiful yellow, the green, and then like that rustic orange. And then it's on like that beautiful off, like a beige tone. It's, it just even looks pretty with the flowers behind it. It's just so gorgeous. This pillow was for only $10. I could not believe it. This is what the side of the pillow looks like. And I really fancy this pillow 
because of the back. So this is the back of the pillow. A beautiful stripe and it's kind of velvety feeling. And just look at the stripes on the back. It's just so beautiful. Perfect little throw pillow to put on a beautiful chair, a wing back chair in your, in your living room or just on your sofa just to add a little bit more co um, color and then just put a throw behind it. I just think it's just absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to show you guys. So this is one of my finds. It's not Pioneer Woman and I believe this is by Mainstay and it's the Botanical Pillow. So I will put this link below if you're interested so I'm gonna get closer to you. Some of you might have your home may have these color themes and I think it's so beautiful for spring and summer but I think also for fall because these are some beautiful colors for fall as well. So it could be a beautiful year round pillow. But it's just absolutely lovely and I enjoy it. And I wanted to share that with you all. Very soft, very plump, plumpy. And as long as you're finished with it, you just put it away and um, cover it with plastic and store it away until you decide to use it again. I think it's a beautiful little pillow and a beautiful little $10 edition. And you would never have guessed that this pillow cost ten dollars <laughs> never would have guessed all right so that is everything for this haul you all i hope you enjoyed it as much as i loved sharing it with you i hope you can get your hands those of you who love trivets i love trivets um i have a co-worker she really got me into trivets here lately within the last year she was making my family and i trivets for um christmas and i just thought that they were just the cutest thing and they're perfect for when you use teapots or want to put something hot on top. So I saw these and just said, oh my gosh, I got to get into some trivets. So these are just absolutely adorable and I hope that you can find them. So thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Char. If this is the first time you've ever seen my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you and you all can come and check me out. Leave comments down below. Um, if you have any questions, hopefully I can answer whatever questions you have about the products you've seen in this video today as far as um, what availability I don't know what I can do is link all of these items that I found here on um, link them down below so we thank you so much you all be blessed I hope you have a lovely week take care of yourself remember always trust God keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction I'll see you soon God bless bye bye